Hello guys. Uh yeah, this is gonna be a a YouTube cooking video. I don't really know what else to do considering it's a day off school because of that. And if you don't know what that is, I will show you. Snow. It's very snowy indeed. Very, very. But that's good because that means I have time for myself and also to make content, so I'm gonna do that. So uh wish me luck. So first thing that we do also rate the frog socks. God damn. What we do first is we get this. Oh god, that's heavier than it used to be because it's frozen. And I'll show you what we're making. We're making that. That is a Jewish plate and it's called Raspberry and White Chocolate Rugelash. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly because, you know, that's me. But yeah, let's just quickly get the ingredients together if I can find the rest. Yes, here. Raspberry jam and frozen dried raspberries. Nice. But yeah, we need soft cheese at room temperature, but that's for the dough. We've already got that, so we don't need to worry about that. We need an egg. Where might an egg be? I don't know. Egg. Oh, God, the flour spilled. You got a little bit of my face there, but don't worry, in the edit, I'll blow that out. Jesus, I almost just dropped the egg. <sighs> Alright, so we need to take this out. Also, if anyone, if if a ginger dude walks past this window, it's probably cool little ginger. It is probably him. I told him not to come to my house. He might be coming. Dunno. He's an odd he's an odd one, that guy is. Uh, so, what we need to do is we need to roll each quarter into a ball, then wrap and press into a flat disc. That is okay. But first, plain flour. That is inverted. I'll probably get that sorted out. But, what I need to do is basically cake the worktop in flour. Let me just take off my hoodie for this. And I'm so happy I have the flour here because I was just about to show my face. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. You thought you thought you could see it. Um I need a rolling pin. Rolling pin. Nice. Alright, so what do I need to do again? Uh, dust work surface with flour and roll one of the discs into a large circle. Discs? What? Ow! Okay, so we didn't do that. We have a pizza slice, you know, the wide edge and the, you know, kind of thing. Let's unwrap this bad boy. Oh, rate the shirt, keep calm and kill zombies. Let's go. Oh, jeez. There. Something is going to go terribly wrong, because I know I'm just going to do this for the views. We just... Yeah, we do this. And then just... Kind of wipe it across the work surface. Maybe get a little bit and rub it on the rolling pin. That looks... Weird. Um... Oh, God, it went on my shirt. Did it? No. Okay. Let's 
So what we do is we just... This is a way too long in the fridge. Oh my God, no, 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 no. It has, that's why it, that's why you need it in the fridge for like half an hour instead of 11 hour and a half more. Uh, hello, uh, food tech teacher. I will be sharing this video to you because you know, I need them views. And also I kind of need those grades. So I think the best way to do it is in video form. And this is going to be on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, posted to 30 people. 30 if you subscribe. That's just next door. I thought someone was breaking in. My God, can you stop banging on the wall? I'm trying to do a video here. Jeez. And I prom And I promised my Twitter followers that there would be, ooh, that there would be a vlog coming out. This isn't technically a vlog. It's a cooking kind of video. God, wait, no, I forgot to. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I think it's too thin. You know what? This is what cooking videos are for. Fails. So you can learn for the future. That is getting concerningly close to my phone. I have a Captain America shield. Just need to wash my hands first before I do anything stupid. <laughs> but that's just me in general. So as you can see, guys, I have completely failed. This bit needs to come out more. And I think that's a bit that needs to come out more. But it's work in progress because I can just get some of this onto there and there. So I actually have a plan. And I've only just realised I still have flour on my hands. So now there's going to be some flour on my phone. Go away, old man. I'm pretty sure you don't live here. Okay, so it's slightly better. Now it's just time to see if this boy fits. Oh, I need to... Mm. Still that little bit there, but this bit seems to be fine. So guess what we're going to do now? We're going to continue rolling. Oh, okay, whatever. Maybe, 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 I just take a little bit off, a little bit. Okay, and... Boom. Bang, and the dirt is gone. Time to cut that little circle out with a lid of a... Saucepan. So this is Marley. She's a Springer Spaniel. Just that. I don't know what else with. And there's Bobby. Bob, sit. Sit. Here's a Schnucker, which is a Cocker Spaniel with a Schnauzer. Those two are so cute. They're like yin and yang. So cute. Very cute. Alright, so now that I have flour in my charging bit, I'm going to do this, which is just peel away all of the dough that I don't need from the dough that I do. Because, you know, I'm built different. I don't know why that has any correlation to me being built different. The unwanted bits in here, and then we throw it. What we do now... Oh, I might just, just uh, knocked off something. So what we do now, raspberry jam, we, uh, we spread it on the circle. Ow. This is gonna take a while. Um. Maybe I maybe if I use a tea towel, got to keep I gotta stand up straight because there we are, nice and fresh raspberry jam. Very bitter though, kind of disgusting as well. I'm joking, I love it on toast. It is a very good mix. But what I also have now is a butter knife, so I've got to cut this part because you know. 
censorship. All right, so now that we have done that, it should look like this if you are following along. But uh, I actually will be posting the recipe on Twitter. But it is meant to look like a pizza, and that looks an awful lot like blood. All right, and what we do now is, oh God, we get white chocolate, but not from here, from here. This may just look like grated parma, uh, not parmesan, what's it called? Grated cheese, I forgot the other word for it, cheddar, grated cheddar cheese. And then we just salt bay it, we just completely, we sprinkle it on top, that's the way to go. Now, I don't know if pizza cutters are, you know, can get you demonetized. Okay, so now that you've cut it into eighths, they should look like mini pizza slices. And this one is falling apart, so I'm going to leave that one alone, because, you know, it's like a, hmm. It's like when you stick something to paper and then you try and peel it off. Don't think I put enough flour on the worktop. It's basically as if scientists were in a much more messy environment, but they were also playing with edible things. Bleach is not edible, don't drink it. What I meant to do is I meant to roll it up so it looks all nice and dandy like that, but it doesn't look nice because that's stuck to the worktop. Future note to me, Put more flour on the worktop. So what you do is you get the widest edge. You know, like pizza, you know, like pizza wedges. Yeah, you get the widest edge, and you roll it to the to the to the point to the point. Yeah, to the point. All right, so what you do now is you get all of your rugal ashes and you put them in the fridge. Now you wait 30 minutes. So whilst you're in that 30 minutes, you clean all this up. All right, our work, our workspace is clear. So, let's go have some fun outside, shall we? We're going to my garden because I don't trust myself to absolutely not Batista bomb the heck out of that snowman. So we get the jumper on, then we find the gloves, found them, and then we put the coat on. There! I've decided to not put my gloves on, and also I've got to be very quiet because it's very... Awkward when your neighbours find out you're a YouTuber. Let's have some fun. So, what I do is I grab the snow and then, because this one loves tennis balls, what this doofus is actually thinking is I'm going to catch this, but then when I throw it, she can't find it. I'm going to put a footprint in that. Worth it. Oh, don't tempt me. I will sit down. We're at the shed. Hello? Anyone in here? Hello? Okay. No one's in there. That's... You're stupid. But I love you for it. Yes, I do. Alright, alright, alright. So what we do now? is we heat this to 180 degrees. Alexa, shut up. All right, so what we do now is we get this, and while the oven is probably heating, we get these bad boys out, right? These bad boys are looking firm. Oh my god, I just realised I have a really bad bruise on my arm. But hey, bruises never stop cooking. Alright, so, I have my rugal ashes and the egg. Time to beat the egg so I can... 
um, glaze the arugula ashes with it before I put them in the oven because, you know, I'm just too good of a person. I just showed my face to the camera. I may or may not have um, put too much yolk on, but like I said before, we need to clear this place up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I know I'm not going to do another music interlude. All right, so I just got back and uh, the alarm sounded. That means this was ready, but I've already taken it out and it doesn't look that half bad. I mean, maybe a little bit more yolk that I sh should have put on. Is that actually egg white? Oh no, that's, oh, that's the white chocolate, no way! I'm gonna get the giant chunk of chocolate. And you'll see my plan in a second. Obviously, I'm still avoiding to show my face. Hot. Good. And then, hmm, I'll just open this up. I shouldn't have opened it all the way, but, you know, live and learn, live and learn. You know what you do? You break it all up into here. Then, you shove it in the microwave. That's, that's, yeah. You shove it in the microwave. White chocolate with a, mm, white chocolate with a hint of radiation. And whilst we're doing that, we get the plates ready. So, up here we have the jam. Hmm, could do longer in the microwave. I'd say 20 seconds. And then you get one of the big plates. Because you know, I want this to look as good as it can. Has this plate been washed properly? I don't know. That's some good white chocolate. All right, it's starting to melt. Sure, why not? You place it very carefully. I want this to look presentable. And obviously, because I'm going to get graded on this, I'm very happy I'm sharing my food tech assessment with all of you. Just need to somehow get this off. Oh, burnt chocolate, I smell. Maybe the melting white chocolate wasn't a good idea. I do have a better one, though. These. I still need to continue. Jeez, that stinks. But, alright, trust me on this one, because this one has actually worked yesterday, I just don't know how long we did it for. Alright, it doesn't smell of burnt white chocolate, 
it smells of melted raspberry jam. I want a Gordon Ramsay this one. Ramsay, if you see this, this is for you. I messed it up. But it's good enough. What did Muhammad Ali say? I don't know. It's along the lines of, if you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. If you can't crawl... I don't know. But by all means, keep moving. I think that was Muhammad Ali. Or someone else, I don't know. Can't remember. Freeze-dried raspberries. Aha. This needs to come off. Ugh. Okay. Get a small amount. Just like that. And then you kind of just drop it all on. But like, distributed. Yeah, and I'll show you the final results. So that is the final result. May not look too appealing, but it's good enough. So uh, thank you lot for watching. If you liked it, like and subscribe, I guess. And uh, maybe you can make these yourself. I'll put the I'll put my Twitter in the description just so that you know where to find the recipe and ingredients for this. It's all in here and in summer in Twitter. Alright, goodbye.